Exactly. Like, it just seems like a Vine sequel to me, you know? Like, I, I remember well, Vine. Well, it is. Bro. It totally is. That's, that's why it works so well. Um, just people dance on it or whatever. It's cool, man. I, I've seen some pretty good TikToks. There's been ones yeah. that have made me smile and laugh, so I'm not going to be yeah. a hater. I'm just... I'm just uh, so, oh, oh no, yeah, I don't want to be bitter either, but here we go. We got Bankai out. I think it might be too late. I think I already was, so I don't want to sound like a hypocrite and say I don't want to be bitter. I mean, I don't, but it might wind up happening anyway. Here we go. Speaking of uh, getting bitter on stream, here's a Yoshi. Uh, we got Mancha mm. out here going up against Bankai, you know, with his patented Pokemon trainer. He's been playing for quite some time. Like you mentioned before, this is the first time I've seen him enter a Wi-Fi bracket. A hot minute. It, I think it's been like a month. Uh, I could probably like I could probably check. In fact, I think yeah. I will. I'll get At least a month since the last time I personally have, you know, seen him yeah. in one or casted one at the very right. least. Or at least in a DNA, like a local type. I believe he uh, might have done an invitational or two. Uh, no, he didn't. He, didn't he? Oh no, no, I that's not that's was. not true at all. He was in one against Hungry Box and he beat him, didn't he? I don't remember. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. I, I don't he was remember in one of those uh, OS Invitationals a week back or, or like two weeks back or three weeks back, something like that. He was in the polling for this upcoming one, and I think right. he actually lost. Did he lose to Zamba? I'm upset. I, I don't know if it was Zamba. It might have been Suarez. I, I okay. don't really. Suarez, I, I literally sense. don't remember, unfortunately, so I can't really confirm right here. And speaking of confirms, there's one up air. Not able to lead into the second okay. one, but unsafe on the uh, shields. Is that dash attack by the ledge right there? Not crossing up because he ran out of stage to be able to do that. And that grab back row is going to do it. He did so many switches just to get back to Ivysaur. You know. It's the air dodge, man. It's that utility. It's the utility of a frame one invincible switch that just will never. It will never be bad. It can be red, but it will not be a bad. I mean, it can be bad if you you know do it in too obvious of a fashion. That's I've what seen I mean. it get red, like you said, multiple times. So yeah, it can be bad. It can be. You can do it bad. You can do something bad, but a frame one option. Can will always need to be played around by your opponent rather than be bad standalone. Like Zeus is frame one; it has a jab. It's frame one. It will never be bad, but you can use it poorly. My brain hurts, yo. All right, there's uh, there's a forward <laughs> there to reset. This is too philosophical for my blood right now. At least right now, while we're commentating, and there's a forward. So that actually was a down smash, by the, I think, by the ledge right there to get him off the level. The Mancha is definitely down, but he's not out, man. This is not a deficit that Yoshi can't make up. I mean, Yoshi has the best airspeed in the entire game. Like, better than Puff. It's better than Wolf's. It's better than literally every other character in the game by a pretty decent margin. So if he's able to take this stock right now, I feel like Mancha will be able to, you know, bob and weave enough. And if he's able to just... If he's able to find... If he's able to break Bankai's zone and actually get close enough to the point where he can get, like, one good string because Yoshi has all of our combos... He might honestly be able to bring this game back, as well as the fact that Yoshi is very heavy as well. Is that up smash is going to do it right there, down to the last stock. Yoshi is very heavy as well, so despite having that good air mobility, you know, he'll be able to drift around a lot of these hitboxes if he's careful enough. Not that it's easy. Uh, speaking of easy, forward smash by the ledge on uh, Bankai's Zard right there, able to take that first game. That was... All right. We in there? I mean... When you drop shield as Yoshi, it can be... Uh, Yoshi shield having different properties can make it a little bit more annoying to hold to hold shield and be consistent with it. Like, he can't get shield poked, but also, I think uh, that might have actually only been... I know in Melee, he can't jump out of shield, which is a huge mm. problem. Uh, he wasn't <laughs> able to do that till Smash 4, my guy. Uh, yeah, which was a huge problem for Yoshi. Yeah. I, I still... I don't remember... I think... I feel like there's less frame, there's like a slowdown on something to do with his shield in this game. That might be false. Or it might just be like an animation look that is, like, that looks weird. Like him popping out of the egg makes it seem like there's less, uh, what, is it? what am I trying to say? There's, it seems it is like a there's different more animation. frames on it. It is a different animation than I believe literally any other character in this game has. I think he's only, I think he's the only one with like a sort of special property shield, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, but here but we it, are. I feel like that come that animation and some and the uh, lack of shield depletion can make it hard to parry with Yoshi sometimes. I can neither confirm nor deny that, but uh, Me anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, I we'll, think we'll, it's we'll a... see. We'll see if uh, Mancha's ever, ever able to do that in this game so far. I mean, 
so far he's not really focused so much on it you know like right now he already got 90 damage in this uh, first 30 seconds of the game so far on the squirrel which is definitely a good one to be able to do especially with how small of a character he is how light he is as well now the ivysaur is out presumably the squirtle is gone for the rest of the stock unless he tries to switch to break out of a combo but we're gonna have to cross that bridge over when we come to it neutral is reset see him trying to break the zone right there with that uh with the razor leaf and then just narrowly dashing in with the step dash actually you know just yeah dashing in once and then just waiting a second to do it again before he's able to run in and get the boost grab but not nothing doing on the part of uh nothing doing on the part of matcha that time for him to be able to get the grab that vine whip will do it though for the first stock yeah after such a great start too matcha had a like you mentioned a phenomenal string at the beginning but then just it looked like he got complacent he let bankai start to whittle away at his defense lose a lot of the pressure that he gained and now with 141 it's going to be a little bit rough to take charizard out from center stage uh, sour spot fair not doing it that one will Mm, yeah, the strong hit of forward. Uh, we uh, not even the strong, actually. The weak hit of forward air able to do it at 179 against Charizard by the ledge. Not there surprising to say the least. Forward air. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I realized <laughs> it. I caught myself. I caught myself. All right. I, I know. I know when I'm beat. I know when I'm beat. Don't worry about it. Been doing this for a long time, but I mean, you gotta stay humble. Here you go. I, and I'm surprised by the ledge right there when he actually caught him in that uh, directional air dodge. He didn't decide to go off stage and try to do the dunk, but I guess he just decided to go for like. I, I guess he just thought that risk wasn't worth the reward why, uh, the reward right there and just tried to stay on stage instead, you know, just sort of reset the situation, stay by the ledge, and instead try to give himself a less of a chance at getting the kill, but rather, you know, just not go for like a high risk, high reward option, which makes sense. Some players just like to stay patient in that regard. Mancha, not surprised to see him doing that, especially against a player as good as Bankai. I mean, you know, a lot of these players come in and then they play a player or like a... Uh, they play a player as notable as uh, Bankai, and then they, they might get a little shook, might not know what to do, if, especially if they're playing him for the first time, so they might just play a little more patient than they normally do, and it's looking like Mancha might be doing that right now. I mean, I've never seen Mancha before. I don't know if he's, like, the aggressive type Yoshi or not, but we're seeing him make some... We're seeing him make some pretty patient decisions right there, like right there going for that full hop onto the back air. Unfortunately, it was on his shield, and then that second time around, he did jump above Charizard, which is just about... In my top five worst positions you can possibly be in in this game is above Charizard, which is unfortunately where he was right there. Oh my Ooh, god! That's okay. The, that's what I wanted him to do against the Charizard, but he didn't do it. Did it against the Ivysaur instead, just as good. Yeah. Edge, edge guarding tether recoveries is a little bit awkward at first, but once you know how to do it, it oh. applies to any tether. My god, and catching him with the F-Tilt on the platform to continue that onslaught and trying to throw out another one right there, knowing that that move sends you perfectly up to combo into up-tilt, up-smash, and most notably up-air. My god, Mancha putting himself out here, man. He might potentially take game two over Bankai right here, but unless Bankai has anything no to jump. say about it, one more, no of those by, uh, one more of those up-airs by the platform might do it. Okay, just a raw dash attack. Trying to chase down Yoshi once, once again. Mancha does seem to be a little bit more... Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Sweet. What a clean conversion. The sweetest of spots. Oh. Be careful not to DI into the Vine Whip, because that is... There's a lot of ways to do it, depending on what you're hit by. Uh, whether it be reverse neutral air or something like back air. But most of the time, I always try and DI down and either in or out. And get away from that sweet spot, because it's killing Yoshi... A pretty heavy character at 95. Dude, take me to the ice cream parlor because I need something sweet. <laughs>